In this example, we'll be doing cornerstone exercise 629. We'll be using information that is found at the bottom of page 265. The example itself is found at the top of page 266. The information given to us is for a company that produces soft drinks. Mixing is the first department and their output is measured in gallons. The company uses the FIFO method, and they tell us that all manufacturing costs are added uniformly. And they give us the following information for July for the mixing department. They tell us that there were units in process on July 1st that have already been completed 80%. We also have units that were completed and transferred out in total of 138,000 gallons. And we have units in process as of July 31st that were 75% complete, and that was 16,000 gallons. They also give us the cost information for July, for beginning work in process and cost added during July. Again, in this example, we are using the FIFO method. The main difference with FIFO versus the weighted average method is that FIFO is trying to isolate just what happened during this one period. For our example, it would be July. So the exercise asks us to calculate the equivalent units for August, calculate the unit cost rounding to two decimal places, and assign cost to units transferred out and to ending work in process, again, using the FIFO method. Under the FIFO method, we actually need to find the equivalent units for three different items. Units that have been both started and completed during the month, how much more we had to do to our beginning work in process unit to complete them, and how complete did we get our ending work in process unit during the period. We will start with the units that were both started and completed during the period. In the information given, they told us that we completed and transferred out 138 thousand units. However, our assumption is that also included the 24,000 gallons that had been in our beginning work in process at the start of July. We need to factor out those 24,000 units because again, we want to get to units that were both started and completed just in July. That gives us 114,000 equivalent units. We now need to figure out our equivalent units for beginning work in process. At the start of July, there were 24,000 gallons that have already been 80% completed. Again, with the FIFO method, we're trying to capture just what we did in this one month. So if these units were already 80% completed, we only needed to do 20% more to complete them in the month of July. So we take the 24,000 units and multiply it by the 20% that still remains to have to be completed. For our units and ending work in process inventory, we had 16 units that were an ending work in process and they told us that they were 75% complete, meaning we were able in the month of July to complete those units 75%. Again, with FIFO, we're trying to capture the work that we did just in this month. In total, that gets us 130,800 equivalent units. In part two, 
they want us to calculate the unit cost. Under FIFO, again, since we're just trying to capture what we've done in one month, we are only going to include the costs that were added in the month of July. In this case, we added $301,000 during the month of July, and we will divide it amongst the 130,800 equivalent units. That gets us a per equivalent unit rate of $2.30. We now need to calculate the cost of the units that were transferred out and the cost assigned to our ending inventory. My beginning work in process costs. We know from the problem that there was $24,000 associated with getting our units 80% completed. We need to include this here because these units are being transferred out and we want to assign all costs associated with completing those units. We also need to assign costs for how much work we did to complete those units in the month of July. So we will take our equivalent unit rate of $2.30 and multiply it by how many equivalent units we had for beginning work in process. We will also assign cost for those units that have been both started and completed during the period. We will take our per equivalent unit cost again of the $2.30 and multiply it by how many units were both started and completed in July. Therefore, in total, we will have assigned $297,385 the units that are being transferred out. And finally, to assign costs to our ending work in process, we will once again take our equivalent unit rate of $2.30 and multiply it by how many equivalent units there were in ending work in process. So in the end, we have $27,000 $615 that we would assign to our ending work in process.